What up, YouTube? It's your boy Jermaine. Um, still working on a vlog today. I have it right here. I just can't upload it for some reason. I have a few other videos I'm trying to upload, and it's fast. But whenever I try to upload it to YouTube, like it's like super slow. Um, just for the word, this will not be a super long live stream. This is this is gonna be pretty short. Um, right now it's what two fifty seven a.m. I got what to sleep on the plane. I'm still wide awake. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what I got going. I'm trying to figure out this whole internet thing. The internet's like crazy slow. Uh, I already finished the vlog for today, but. Like I said, I can't upload it. I also have another problem. <laughs> this one's kind of funny. Um, this is the problem I'm having. So you guys know that this is my computer charger? I'll plug this bad boy in. No, it doesn't work. It doesn't work at all. So what, do I, so what do I have to do? I need to get um, I need to get like an extension, uh, not an extension, but um, one of these things that make this work with that. But there's no places open right now around here where I can get one. I saw a few for sale, but I don't really trust them. Um, I mean, if it's two dollars, I'm not gonna plug my, you know, thousand dollar computer out to this thing that costs two dollars, and I'm gonna plug it into the wall. Like, no, I think uh, I would rather get something that. Is a little bit better, you know, but yeah, that's um, I'm gonna do my computer's gonna die. I have like 30, 36 percent 36 battery. Maybe I should read the comments. I said there's a lot now. Let me go read the comments so I can see what y'all are saying, so I can actually have a conversation with y'all because I know I'm having a conversation with myself. There we go. Oh, I'm not getting the messages. What are you guys saying? So, oh gosh, this is a disaster. <laughs> Fire. I can't, I want to see what you guys are saying. Oh, this is driving me insane that I can't see. Hold on, I can't read one comment. This is so annoying. I'm trying, I'm trying another screen really fast. This would be my day. Like, would, this would be my day. Today is just the most part. Okay, I'm gonna try one more time. Guys, hang tight, hang tight. Okay, now I see it. It's not showing up on my phone, but it shows up here on the computer. So I'm gonna have to, this is so annoying. I'm gonna have to mute the sound and go back and forth from this screen. You two don't make this easy, by the way. I can see what you guys are saying now. Perfect. Um, why did that take so long? That 70s girl, who are you? You always come in. Like, I love it. But, like, I wonder, like, is that my cousin? Like, is this some, This is my mom? Like, I don't know. I don't see a photo. But you don't have to reveal yourself. Don't, don't trip. What's good? What's good, Ashley? National Josh, I'm trying to do it. So, so man, okay. South Korea is a lot of fun. This is a pretty cool place. For some reason, I'm having like problems with the internet because I thought it would be like super fast when I came here. 
So I was gonna upload, like I edit hella videos on the plane and I was gonna upload them like as soon as I got here. Cause I was thinking, oh, it's super fast. <laughs> that ain't gonna happen. I think I'm gonna have to wait till I get to Thailand and I just told you guys I'm going to Thailand next. I think I'm gonna have to wait till I get to Thailand and like set my computer up somewhere and just leave it there for like 12 hours and then that way the, the videos can load. This <laughs> This is what it's gonna be like. And I think I'm gonna do everything in 1080p, like no more 4K. Get an Apple International Adapter Kit. That is exactly what I want. Like I don't wanna use one of those like knockoff brands, you know, I wanna use like a legit one. I do need a converter. <laughs> From the other side of the bay. I love Korea, Korea is fun. The Koreans are so nice, like they're so nice. Like I was just, um, you know, r running around getting food and stuff. And people were like super friendly. Well, I did like go to like two pretty Americanized places. So they're probably like, oh, hey, what's up? But still like people are like super friendly around here. It's it's kind of, um, it's kind of crazy. Okay, so I don't know what's up with the internet in Korea. Like I did an internet speed test and it was like crazy fast. But when I got ready to drop a 20 gigabyte file, to YouTube, it's not happening. Like, it is not happening. Like, this live stream is happening because uh, this is really poor quality. It could, when I was out, like, walking around earlier, I, I did try the internet in, in different places. And one place was, like, much faster, but I also didn't try to, like, upload a video. I just do, like, the internet speed test to try to get an idea. What up, Kelsey? <laughs> Dude, when I come to New York, we definitely got to chill. I love that you're vlogging every day. I love it. It's so cool. I watch, I don't watch like all of your videos because like I spend so much time editing my own freaking videos that I don't get, I don't have that luxury of like sitting down and watching YouTube like, you know, other folks do. But I'll definitely um, save, I did save a few of your videos on um, YouTube Red. So I watched a couple on the plane. I watched so many videos on the plane. Like I, Got like no sleep on the plane. Got like two hours of sleep. Just edit videos and watch videos the whole time. Oh, so you said generic power converter will work just fine? Hmm. I have to check that out. Like, as soon as this computer dies, like, I'm going to probably be buying anything, you know? <laughs> what What's your name? SP. SP nineteen ninety eight. You watch hella videos. Thanks. Watch more. Watch more videos. Uh, thanks, Christian. Dude, like supposedly they have the fastest internet in the world, but I don't think um, I don't think it's working for me. Who is this dude over here? Got some racial stuff to say. You should learn proper English. Whoever this dude is, <laughs> you suck. <laughs> Anyway, um, I tried to request Uber Eats. Uber Eats is not in Seoul. I was going to request um, Uber from the airport. You guys want to know how much an Uber from the airport cost to get to where I was going? It was like $120. Now, that's dollars. It's not an international currency. That's U.S. dollars. And I'm thinking, I'm cool. <laughs> so I took, like, I took a bus. It picked up from the airport. It dropped me off one block from where I was staying. And that bus, actually, <laughs> the bus cost more than the place that I'm staying at right now. How crazy is that? <laughs> Do I speak any other languages? No, I am completely American. I speak one language. That language is English. <laughs> but a lot of other people around here speak English. Like, I hear so much English spoken around here. And I see tons of Americans around here, too. Like, a lot of Americans. Like, I hung out with a couple from San Francisco earlier tonight. How crazy is that? Like, I just left San Francisco and I'm hanging out with more folks from San Francisco. I'm, I would imagine I'm probably going to be a lot of Bay Area folks on this trip because Bay Area folks just do that. They <laughs> just travel all the time. How much did the trip cost to go to Korea? Korea is like super cheap to come here right now. Like, I saw flights online for $400. Um, I didn't pay four hundred dollars for my flight because I procrastinated and waited till the last minute. I think I paid like six something or something. 
six, 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 60 or something. It's pretty good, pretty cool. Oh, so Kelsey, I'm thinking about coming to New York. Um, I don't wanna, I forgot I'm on the live stream, so I can't really, I don't wanna just talk about too much stuff, but possibly soon. Um, Um, sign up for DoorDash under your promo code. Yeah, if you, I think in this video here, my DoorDash promo code is in there. Yeah, so if you go down to the bottom of this live stream, you'll see my um, DoorDash, like my promo code's not there, but if you click on the link, it'll take you directly to the DoorDash to sign up. Oh, I just got an email, I better check that. What are you doing over here? I'm I'm actually over here just um just taking a little break. Um I don't exactly know what I'm doing. Like I'm just like vlogging. Like before I, you know, got involved in the whole sharing economy, I used to travel a lot and then I moved to San Francisco and I just stopped traveling because I started working all the time. Like this is my passport and I mean it's like stamps almost on every page now, like almost everyone. Like I really, well, not these pages. I got a couple blank ones, but I really, really love to travel. And what I do is just like save money like crazy, like save up money, look at, um, check out places you want to go, figure out how much it's going to cost, buy a flight, take off time, take time off work and just go, like go and have a blast. It's crazy. Yeah, lots of military people here. Lots of military people. Dude, I hear so many. <laughs> like every time I travel, I swear I meet like half of the people, half of the people I meet are in the military from the US. Well, the Americans that I meet. And the other half of them are like, you know, those like hardcore American travelers. That's like, yeah, I've been to 40 countries, you know? Oh yeah, I'm 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 gonna just be honest. I'm getting burned out with the sharing economy. I'm really getting burned out. I mean, I don't I don't like to say that because people are like, oh, you're the sharing economy vlogger, but it's awesome to take a little break. You know, just take a little break from it because if I you know take two weeks off and I go back, like I'm gonna feel great. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm I'm just gonna go right back doing the same thing and. It's so funny, you missed one vlog, and now you're in South Korea. Well, yeah, wait till tomorrow's video. Who knows where I'm going to be? I'm still trying to fit. What up, Rob? I'm still trying to figure out. Ooh, hustle man, what up? I'm still trying to figure out here. Do I want to, like, just hang out in Thailand the whole time? Because, like, as of now, since I just got to Korea, like, I just want to go to Thailand and just hang out there and just not leave Thailand. My plan was to, like, fly to Thailand for, like, two days and then fly to Jakarta, Indonesia, because this would be my first time ever traveling below the equator. Like that really means a big deal, but I don't know, I just always wanted to travel below the equator. So I was gonna do that on this trip and I was also gonna hit up Singapore on the way back. Now, since I'm here, I'm thinking about just, just posting up in Thailand and just chilling in Thailand and just, that's it, just hang out in Thailand. I, I'm really thinking about just doing that. I'll, I'll, I'll just figure it out once I get there. Um, I really want to go on some uh, elephant tours in Thailand. And um, I want to go tiger pitting. I think that would be a blast. Um, the weather in Korea is like freezing, by the way. I don't know if you I, you guys haven't seen my vlog, but the weather here is like super cold out there. It's like 27 degrees last time I checked. So that's, that's pretty chilly. Thailand is going to be like 90s. Like I won't need a North Face jacket in Thailand. I flew on um, uh, Korean Airlines. <laughs> you guys want to see this room I'm playing? You guys want to see this room I'm standing in? This room <laughs> costs $15 a night. Okay, I'm going to say that one more time. This room costs $15 a night. So it's super cheap. Check it out. It's, it's not that fancy. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Should I put my backpack up here? There's some lockers there. And then there's the bed I'm going to sleep in. Then here's like a desk. And then here's a heater. I'm not wearing pants, so I don't want to flash you guys. 
there's like a heater because you know what they say when it's cold outside make sure you got yourself a heater <laughs> oh gosh i just read that message um Oh, wow, no more Tiger Temple in Thailand? The military shut it down last year? Oh, well, I guess I won't be Tiger Pitting. I always have to do something else. I was out, I went to Tiger Temple, what, five years ago in Thailand? And when I was in Tiger Temple, I was trying to figure out, like, dude, how are these tigers, like, so chill? Like, they must drug the tigers. Like, I mean, it's this massive tiger, like, this big tiger. And he's not doing anything. I mean, there's all these people walking up, taking photos. I was really skeptical about that. And uh, I'm actually not so sad to hear that they're closed. It has nothing to do with me being vegan. But I, I just think that, yeah, I mean, people, I don't know, tiger petting is a little weird. Tiger, tiger should be free, right? It shouldn't be locked up in a cage for freaking rich tourists to go, t go pet all the time. It's just really annoying. But I don't know. I guess I have a change of plans. I guess I'm not going to go tiger petting now. So Chow, Chow Mang, Chow Mang, I don't know if I'm saying this correctly. Is that the cheapest place on planet Earth? Like I was on the plane and I was talking to a guy and he's like, oh, I'm living in Chow Mang. And I was like, oh, really? What's it like there? And he's like, oh, it's pretty cool. It's really cheap. I said, what's really cheap in Thailand? He told me he's paying $80 a month for a studio, $80 a month. And I'm thinking, damn. Like some days I spend $80 in San Francisco, you know, <laughs> $80 a month. Like, I don't know if I'm going to have time to check out um, Chiang Mai, but I hear that that's like the vegan capital of the world. Don't know if I'm going to go there though, because there's no beaches around there. I don't want to be stuck in the mountains. What's the weather like though? Bangkok is cold. Oh, 80s. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I was thinking like 60 degrees. Okay, Rob, what happened to episode two on the Rice Show show? Let me talk about that. I was going to put it in the vlog, but as I was editing the vlog, I cut all of that out because it sounded really depressing. Mike and I, when, when we film our scenes, what happens is one of us takes the video footage and edits the video footage, okay? That's my job. As you can tell, you guys can probably tell that I did all the editing. So after I edited the footage, I gave it to Mike. Mike uploaded it to YouTube and something went wrong with it. So I, like, I think it was online for like an hour. Then Mike, like he took it down. Well, when he took it down, I, I was at the airport. Um, I, he called me, I was sitting on the plane, I get, getting ready to take off, like literally on the, the, the runway. And I'm like, well, yeah, Mike, um, I don't think I can help you right now. I said, I think I still have the files on my computer. Come to find out, all the files are still on my computer. I almost deleted all the files. I have the files here. The, everything is ready to upload to YouTube. I can't upload that 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 footage to YouTube because the internet's too slow. The file is like 20 gigs, 20 gigs, 20 gigs. Now, just to give you an idea of how big 20 gigs is, my iPhone is 64 gigs. And that one video is 20 gigs. So that's a massive file. My, usually my vlogs, like daily vlogs are like maybe five gigs, three gigs, two gigs. Every now and then they're like one gig. <laughs> I don't usually like to do one gig vlogs. Was your flight cheap? Flight was hella cheap. And cool thing about the flight, when I booked the flight, I, I said um, I wanted a special meal and they had vegan meals. And I was so stoked. Whenever it was time to eat, like the flight attendant would like walk around and they would give me my meal first and then they would serve everyone else because I um like had a special meal. So I was pretty stoked. Like, I was just grubbing on the plane. Food was really good. Um, it, will, it will be in the vlog. Um, I guess when it, when it gets up there, it'll be in the vlog. Was your flight cheap? Yeah, I, I think I already, I already answered that question. No more Taco Temple, I already answered that question. It's perfect for traveling though. You spend all your time uh, exploring, not in the hotel room. Yeah, um, the only reason I'm awake now is because I just really can't go to sleep. <laughs> it's crazy because it's like 3.16 now. And if I'm still awake at 6 a.m., I'm not going to go to sleep. I'm probably just going to go to downtown Seoul and just start taking video. 
and just, you know, just have a blast. Like, just start shooting again and just not go to sleep. I have a flight that's leaving here today at 5 p.m. So it's 3 a.m. now. So I have 14 hours before that flight leaves. So I have 12 hours before I'm going to be at the airport. So I guess if I don't sleep at all, <laughs> I can sleep the six hour flight from here to Bangkok. Six hour flight. Oh man, six more hours. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, I'm sure they drugged uh, the tigers, Kelsey. <laughs> That's a transsexual prostitute. They yeah, have a lot of prostitutes in Thailand. Lots of prostitutes. It's crazy. There's like, I don't even like to call them prostitutes. I just like to call them pros because prostitutes kind of like a dirty word. Word, and if you say that like out in public, people know exactly what you mean. So I just would rather call them a pro. <laughs> so if you ever hear me saying that in a vlog, like, dang, it was hella pros over there. That's what I'm talking about. Also, I don't want Google to know I'm saying prostitute all the time. Prostitute, prostitute. Really, a girl got bit by the got bit from the tigers. That's crazy. Maybe I'll just like go elephant riding. Mainly, I was just gonna do tiger petting for the YouTube videos for the most part because I already went. I've already been there before. There's like hella video, hella photos on my own, like Facebook page. <laughs> it's got to be a creepy room. I swear there is like no one staying here. Like it's like super down season right now. Elephant sanctuaries. I I definitely want to check out um more elephant stuff. The last time I was here, I was supposed to go elephant like it wasn't riding, but it was like I don't know, it was like I don't know. It, it was some elephant tour. Like we was gonna, we were gonna go on, but it, it was raining, and I was like, oh, I'm not gonna go out there in the rain. Like I'm on holiday. I'm not gonna freaking get wet. So I didn't, I didn't do the whole adventure or whatever. So maybe I'll do it this time. Okay, so Trevor, you're talking about you want to save money and work hard with the sharing economy app so you can um do stuff, um. I think I'm gonna talk more about that in the future. That's one reason why I like to um, show what I'm doing because just like I stayed in this $15 a night hotel room, you guys can do it too. And I, I don't really wanna like say, this is how to travel. I travel for cheap. I don't wanna say that, but if you watch the videos, like mm, that's what it pretty much shows. And that's that's the measures I'm trying to get across. I'm trying to show people how to travel for super cheap. That's why, you know, I mean, <laughs> that's, that's why I'm vlogging all the time. $80 a month is just crazy, like for a studio. Like I could literally like just not go back to the US. Like I could just stay in Thailand and just, I mean, live off my YouTube earnings for crying out loud, live off Uber driver referrals. I mean, it's crazy. Not that I want to do that. Like, I don't want to just live on the beach all day. And I, I really enjoy living in a first world country. Like there are certain things that live in a first world country that they don't really have in third world countries, but maybe I can do it for a little bit. Monsoon season in the south. I forgot about that. I always forget about monsoon season. I think I may have to go to Chiang Mai. Or maybe I'll just have to freaking come back, dude. I love Thailand so much. I should just live here. It's so inexpensive. The food's awesome. People are great. I'm not even in Thailand yet, and I'm already talking about Thailand. You need a, a pid piper in your life. What does that mean?
<laughs> There's a snake farm? Snake farms in Thailand? Hey, so question. In Thailand, do they have those things where like you can stick your feet in the water and the um the fish will eat the dead skin off your feet? <laughs> I think that'll be really cool to stick in a vlog. How about Kelsey? I love you, girl. You're so awesome. Huh, you're super cute too. <laughs> and I'm floating on the um live stream. I suppose to do that. Is it true that 150,000 subscribers pay 10,000? Okay, so I'm gonna talk about that. So, <laughs> it, it really depends. You don't make money off of subscribers. You make money off of people watching your videos. Um, when I was at the YouTube space in LA, I was on, um, I met this other YouTuber. She had like, like she had 150,000 subscribers. But when I looked on her when i because she was sitting next to me when i glanced at her computer screen my estimated watch time was like like eight hundred thousand or something like that her estimated watch time was a hundred thousand okay so i didn't even have to look at her metrics i know for sure i'm making way more than she just basically off of watch time it goes off of watch time and um views and it's not just watch time and views, believe it or not. It goes even deeper than that. Um, so if you, okay, let's, okay, America, let's look at the US. When, 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 people, when people in the US watch videos on YouTube, advertisers pay a lot more because people in the US, has, um, they have a higher uh, spending power, okay? When people in the Philippines or people in Thailand watch YouTube videos, um, it would take probably about seven people in Thailand to a, to um, to equal one American view in AdSense. Um, I don't know. If, does that make any sense? Um, so the views in Thailand and views outside of the U.S. are worth way less. So I, I mean, I, I follow I follow YouTubers out there. They have well over one hundred fifty thousand subscribers, but they don't make that much because. You know, all their views are coming from India. And if people are using like ad blockers, you're not gonna make money off of AdSense. And also if, yeah, I mean, it, it's really tricky. And, and also it, do people watch the commercials? Like some commercials people watch, some commercials people don't watch. And if people don't watch the commercials, you're not gonna make money. So it's really tricky. Um, it's really tricky to, to say how much someone would make. Um, I mean, I, I, I follow a, a YouTuber that has 5,000 subscribers, and he makes $10,000 a month. I mean, it, it's crazy. It's really based off of watch time and views and videos. I mean, you can make one video and upload one video, and that one video could get, you know, a million views. If those million views came from, you know, uh, India, you would probably make, you know, maybe $2,000. But if those one million views came from the U.S., you can make anywhere from two thousand to ten thousand. Like it, it's it's really it, it really varies. Flo there was a lot of floating in the cell. There's a video from Sarah. Do you pay to go to the snake farm? It feels like stoked. Hi, Incognito from California. What up, Mike? Oh, I'm like, I have, I'm like forgetting I'm, I'm, I'm like almost forgetting I'm live streaming. You know? I'm just like reading the comments. Oh, one cat video. How, how much is the most you made on Uber Eats in one day? Should I do it full time? I've made like 300. 325, 350, Uber Eats in one day. Oh, Christian, are you talking about the whole YouTube metrics and how it works? I mean, that's what I'm thinking you're talking about. YouTube is, I want to say, like, YouTube is not easy. It's simply not easy. Like, I just like YouTube. Like, I don't really care about the money. Like when I first started last year, like I was making no money on YouTube. And then now I'm like making like money on YouTube. 
but you can't do it for the money. Like I know so many people that like make videos and they're like, oh, I want to make money off YouTube. So I'm going to make videos. Believe me, those are the fastest people to quit. If you want to make YouTube videos, you need to have a passion. You need to just go out there and do it. Because I, you can look at my videos. Like some of my videos don't get no views. And then other videos I get like hella views. So you got to deal with that. And then also like daily vlogging is like, it'll make you go crazy. I mean, come on, daily vlogging is not easy. It's not easy at all. Can you, I'm curious, can you guys hear the, the click when, I, when I'm typing? Can you guys hear that? I guess I'm not really typing, but I'm clicking this thing a lot. Yes, Bob, I am in vegan land right now. <laughs> Just say peace. It can be definite. Um, that the money from YouTube can be definite. I mean, there are plenty of YouTubers out there that they make a living only off YouTube. But there's like, you can't rely on ads. You can't rely on ads. I'm telling you guys, you cannot rely on ads. So last month was like was the craziest month for me because it was December. Like it was super like the ads are crazy, but now it's January. Like it's so bad. Like I don't even like to look at the ads. I'm, like, I'm, I'm tired. I'm hungry. My computer's about to die. Morning. <laughs> Maybe I should like try to get two hours of sleep. So how long have I been live streaming? I've been on live for like 20, 30 minutes. Okay, guys, I don't, I'm gonna have to end this because I can't just go on and on because y'all know I can just go on and on and on. Many warnings, so people are gonna say bye. Warning about South Korea. I'm only here for like, like 24 hours, like literally 24 hours, and then I'm going to fly to Thailand. <laughs> <laughs> Do I fly on my fucking mini pros <laughs> for the Lolo? <laughs> Next question. <laughs> oh, thanks, James. James, video is delayed. Um, I have the video on my computer right now, and I can't upload it. My computer's on 20%. My computer's going to die. Um, another reason I wanted, another reason I'm in Korea, I want to see the internet. I, I wanted to, you know, test out the internet, see how fast it was. I want to see some of their crazy buildings. And I heard this thing in Korea that they have like, it's when you go to the garbage can, like you drop something in the garbage, and like there's no bag in the garbage. Like it, it it's like a, a, you drop it in there and it disappears, basically. How crazy is that? Like, check something like that out. <laughs> so I, I just have a 24 hour layover, so it's not that bad. Okay, so I'm gonna save the interviews in Thailand. So in Thailand, they have this, um, for the people that are watching this right now, you'll get hear a little sneak peek. So in Thailand, they have this like Uber service where, um, you're on a motorcycle. So I want to interview those people. And yeah, I'm going to definitely interview some Uber Eats. I think there's Uber Eats in Thailand last time I checked. A bunch of Uber Eats. Definitely be doing some mukbangs from Asia. Yeah. No, I told you guys I was going to get ready to sign off. I'm going to get ready to sign off. Um, watching. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. Yo, if you're still online, hit that like button. Hit that like button. I'm trying to get my likes up, like, likes anymore. So I'm trying to get those likes up. So go <laughs> smash that like button like you smashed in your crush. <coughs> no more grab bikes in Thailand? 
They got rid of the grab bikes in Thailand. So I have to take those tuk tuks instead. It is so cheap, like <laughs> it's super cheap. I love it. I mean, it's kind of things. Some things in Korea are like cheaper. Some things are not. But I mean, for example, I think it cost me like, I think seventeen dollars to get here, but it don't from the from the airport. But it only costs like fifteen dollars like to stay here. So I mean, in the U.S., that would be completely different. Like I would pay what what thirty five bucks to get from SFO to downtown San Francisco. And then for a hotel in San Francisco, I'd be paying like, you know, $200 a month, $200 a night or $100 a night or something like that. Some, something along those lines. I mean, there's no deals in the Bay. Oh, so they still have the scooter, but no, no app. Huh. I have to check that out. Any Uber in, in Bangkok? Because I just like Google. I just Googled Uber Bangkok and it said request a ride. So I was thinking, oh yeah, it, it works there, but maybe maybe it doesn't work there. Stay at random places, hotels, hostels, Airbnbs. Tonight I'm in like this this like random hotel place. Super cheap. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to end the live stream. So thanks a lot for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace, 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 peace.